and welcome back to my channel. Today I am at WLMG's MG site in Marylebone. Today we're going to be discussing the MG5 EV and the MG ZS EV and what both cars have to offer on the current electric market. <laughs> start off by talking about price. The MG5 and the ZS EV both offer extremely competitive price points for the ranges that they offer when you compare them to competitors on the current electric market. The MG5 EV comes in at £24,495 as a base price and this increases to just £26,995 for the exclusive which is the model that we're here with today. If equally you want an affordable but spacious electric vehicle, then the MG5 EV deserves some serious consideration. Unlike most EVs, the MG5 doesn't compromise on boot capacity, which is why I think this car is so popular to its targeted demographic, being families. Now there's nothing revolutionary about this interior design, but it does promote a simple but effective layout, with a well-working interface that comes standard with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. What more could you really ask for? The simple but effective approach has also been taken to the exterior of this car. Yes, it does look like your classic family estate car, however it has flourishes of MG's heritage, such as those iconic large grilles with the MG emblem. Now, how about this for charging placement? Behind the MG logo is where you put your charging cables. I think this is a pretty cool design feature and certainly something that I've never seen before. The MG5 EV has a WLTP mileage claim of 214 miles. That is really impressive. One thing to definitely bear in mind with WLTP figures is they don't take into consideration deciding factors such as weather. So please take what they say with a pinch of salt as these numbers can fluctuate. Now let's take a look at the MG ZS. Now the MG ZS comes in at a base price of 28,490. However, this particular vehicle that I'm here with today, which is the exclusive, comes in at 31,540, which still isn't a bad price point considering the amount of range that you get. The ZS EV has a WLTP city range of 231 miles. However, as we all know, city range WLTP figures are not always that realistic, and the standard claim is 161 miles, which isn't too bad. The ZS EV is an affordable electric SUV that doesn't compromise with a roomy cabin, and it also has lots of standard equipment. Direct competitors may offer a slightly better range, however, they are nowhere near as affordable. Compared to the likes of the much more expensive Kia e Nero, the MG ZS EV is much more affordable, but also super practical. So what about stats? Here's the top five things that you need to know about both of these electric cars. Starting off with boot capacity, the ZS EV has a whopping 448 litres worth of boot capacity, whilst the MG5 offers 464 litres of boot capacity, so they're both pretty good. And the ZS EV's 0-60 is 8.2 seconds, whilst the MG5 offers a 0-60 of 7.7 .7 seconds. In terms of top speed, the ZS EV offers a mere 87 miles per hour. However, this is still fast enough for you to be travelling at the legal speed limits. The MG5 tops the ZS EV, coming in at 115 miles per hour at top speed. Whilst charging from your standard 7 kilowatt at home wall box, the MG ZS will take around 6.5 hours, whilst the MG5 will take around 8. But by far the most impressive fact about both of these vehicles is they come with 7 years, yes that's right, 7 years warranty, and if that doesn't scream peace of mind, then I'm not sure what will. So 
that concludes today's video on the MG ZS EV and the MG5 EV. I hope you found this video helpful and it gave you a bit more information on what the MG electric range has to offer. I'd like to say a massive thank you to WLMG for allowing me to come to their incredible showroom and test out some of their cars. If you do have any more questions about these cars, I'd be more than happy to try and answer them for you. But for now, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. I shall see you next time. Bye guys.